said that is the nation of Israel is his witness. That's so Jehovah's Witness is not because you say you're a Jehovah's Witness. No, I didn't I know you didn't say you. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. But since, because a person that. says they're Jehovah's Witness, no, I mean my mama was. I said right. I studied the Jewish Bible. I was baptized in the Right. That's the thing. I, my religion is not denomination. Well, what is that? None of my nation, I have an understanding for any, I'm open receptive to any religion. But well, are we supposed to be like that, though? Is that how our mindset is supposed to be according to the Bible? Uh, I'm, open, I'm open receptive to any religion. You're not supposed to be like that. Uh, no, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Listen to this. Oh, I'll say that. Is there a God beside me? Yay! There is no God. I know not any. So there's no God other than the God of this Bible, That's the God right. of Israel. Yeah. Right, get Isaiah, uh, Isaiah no, 44. I, I said, you said I you was said, Jehovah's I, Witness. I, I want to baptize you with it. My mama was baptized with it. We buried her. We had a, I mean, we had a, uh, so let me ask you this: Who are God's witnesses? Well, He had twelve disciples, and He made them fish for him. But who are God's witnesses? Because remember, any any when we when you a biblical scholar, all the answers okay. all the answers you to know, any questions should come God, from the Bible. Who are God's witnesses? The people that witness the Bible. That witness. Yeah, witness by Him. That's the witness. The people that. So listen, let, let's see what the Bible says who is witness about. The Bible says that this is the book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, in verse 1. Yet now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. So he said, read it again. Yet now, hear, O Jacob. My servant. So he said, here are Jacob, my servant. We know Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Right. Read. And Israel, whom I have chosen. So now he said, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Right. Read. Verse 8. Fear ye not, neither be neither be afraid. That's true. Jump to 8. <laughs> yeah, neither be afraid. Uh -huh. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witness. Was it what? Ye are even my witness. So God said that is the nation of Israel is his witness. So Jehovah's Witness is not because you say you're a Jehovah's Witness. No, I didn't. I know you didn't say you. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. But since, because a person says they're Jehovah's Witness, no, I mean my mama was. I said, right. I studied the Jewish Bible. I was a baptized Jewish Right. That's the thing. My religion is not denomination. What is that? None of my nation, I have an understanding for any, I'm open receptive to any religion. But well, are we supposed to be like that, though? Is that how our mindset is supposed to be according to the Bible? Uh, I'm, open, I'm open receptive to any religion. You're not supposed to be like that. Get, uh, no, that no, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Listen Bible. to this. Oh, I'll say that. Though. Is there a God beside me? Yay! There is no God. I know not any. So there's no God other than the God of this Bible, that's the right. God of Israel. Yeah, that's why I'm open receptive. So, so listen, I, I, ain't about, I ain't talking about. I ain't talking about as Israel, as, as us being Israel and knowing the Bible, oh, we're not supposed right. to be open receptive cousin, to any other religion. My, my cousin Angel, uh, y'all, Israel, y'all, what, what religion? We are the Israelites. Our religion right. is the commandment of God. My cousin Angel, my cousin Angel. Yeah, you are the you are Israelites. My sister, yeah, yeah, is, we, are, we are the Israelites. That's what we are God's chosen. But I, I, you know, I understand that. Uh huh. But we have to understand that Israel is not everybody had a preference. But the thing about it, we understand everybody have their preference. But when your preference contradict the Bible, your preference don't yeah, mean nothing. Now you guys understand. 
Medical things go to medical things. So that means, tell me, if you don't believe in doctors, do you believe in doctors? Do you believe in doctors? Do you me, believe in doctors? Yes. That's personally, I don't like going to the doctor, but if I got to go to the doctor, I'm going to go to the doctor. Okay. Because that's, that's where we at. Right now, we in the land of our captivity. So, yeah, but do you believe in doctors that set up yeah. for us to be able to go? Uh, me, mm -hmm. I prefer a natural route. Herbs. Things okay. like that. Yeah, like me. Yeah, I take care of them. White folks don't have that. You know, white folks don't have that because they got health care. When things happen, they go to the doctor. It's not because they got health care. I'm going to deal with that. I want to show you this one. This is the book. 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 This is the This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 5. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars. And break this is when we were going into the this is when the most I was delivering us into the camp. He said, This is how you should deal with them when you come in that land. Read. You shall destroy their altars. It said, destroy their altars. Yeah. Did that. It said destroy their altars. What's an altar? Altar is like a thing that you that's a that's an altar is something that you sacrifice right. to your God. Yeah. So uh, this says destroy the altar free. Let's go. They lamb and all listen, that. Listen up. Gold. And break down their image. It said break down their images. They idols. The Buddha. Whatever. Whatever they got yeah, reared up as they got, it say tear it down. Read. Jesus. And cut down their grove. And cut down their grove. That's a place of worship. Read. And burn their graven images. And, with fire. It said burn they graven images with fire. That don't sound like welcome any other religion. Yeah, but I, I, we, we not we not anything that goes against what God tell us to do, we are supposed to destroy it, get rid of it. We're not supposed to have no parts with it. Because what it's gonna do is defile you. And it's gonna take you away from your God. That's why we in the conditions that we in today. So so uh y'all people is right. No, we never said that. You said that. No, no, I'm just asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. No, I just, in the sense of what you, in the sense of what you ask, me, me, like, do we think we first? No, no, in the sense of what you ask, in the sense of what you ask, in the context of what you ask, do we think we perfect? As we never make mistakes? No. But perfection is. You sincerely keeping the commandments of God, and if you mess up, you're gonna find out where you messed up and you're gonna fix it. That's right. That's oh, what it means to be perfect. Like. Because listen to this. Read. Yeah, like this that. is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. So Christ told us to be perfect. He, he ain't gonna tell us to do nothing we can't do. So in that yes, we are perfect because. I'm doing my best to keep the command. When you see me, you see father. Exactly. What, what, when Jesus told them a Pharaoh, a Herod, Ramsey, because that means that he made an image like a father. And I want to deal with, no, you want to get with the solid children. I know what I mean. Jesus said he could have did, he could have did anything. Right, he could have told them as children. Listen to this real quick. I want to show you this real quick. This is the book this of wisdom of Solomon. The doctor and stuff like that. Chapter 16 and verse 12. For it was neither herb nor modified plaster that restored them to health. So when we get sick, it's never the medicine we take or the herb or none of that. It's none of that that get us well. Read. But thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. It's the word of God that heals us. Because when we keep in the commandments, the most high God is going to teach us the right things to do to make sure we in good health. And if we do get sick, it's God that heals us. Yeah. One more thing. Leviticus 19 and 17. I'm going to read one more scripture. One more scripture. Because when we read, I'm going to read another law that we're supposed to keep. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither. Shall you mar the corners of thy beard? So what this is saying is that the men. I know what it's saying. What it's saying is that you're not to go through our house. I don't know what it's saying. Read 21 and 5. 
Listen, listen, listen. I can't mess with my wife. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. The Bible speaks of marriage, but you and you are the men of marriage. So what you say, go. Listen to this real quick. Listen, listen. Thou, thou shalt not make baldness upon their head. Meaning the man of God is not supposed to shave his head bald. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither is a man supposed to shave off his beard. That goes against God's commandment. That's right. That breaks his rule. In the judgment, when men have shaved their beard, they get hair bumps. Right. If you didn't shave your beard, you wouldn't get hair bumps. That's right. God gave man a beard to distinguish a man from a boy. Right. So as men, we're supposed to let our beards grow. That's a commandment of God that your Christian church is not going to teach you. That's right. Your Christian, Christian church is not going to tell you the things that pertain to God. Right. Because they're not set up to lead you to God. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is